The reason I have a blue background is because I had a big audition today for acting and I didn't feel like moving it, so. Hi guys, it's me Skylar, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips for your first gymnastics competition. So let's get into it. So gymnastics competitions are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to be giving you guys my tips and what I wish I knew before competing in gymnastics. So tip number one is always remember your grips. I started wearing grips in level three, so I wore them pretty early. So if you don't wear grips yet, this tip is gonna be helpful for you in the future, but if you do wear grips, my tip for you is Please remember your grips, even put a reminder in your phone. It is so important. There have been many times where I have met people who have forgotten their grips and they had to compete their bar routine with their teammates' grips and it felt so different. So first tip, always remember your grips. Tip number two, I would have to say is write down your goals for the meet. Writing down my goals always help me go into the meet with the right mindset. I think that it honestly calms down your nerves if you write down your intentions for that meet and how you want your thoughts to be. So tip number two, definitely write down your goals before you compete. Tip number three is make sure your hair is tied back super tight and make sure you have gel and hairspray so that way you have no wispies. If you have your hair back like this and then there's like all those little baby hairs sticking out and it's not tight, that is a deduction. Tip number four, this is very important you guys. A lot of people may not agree with this, but I learned this from my dance competition days and I used it in my gymnastics competition days as well. Purchase butt glue. Butt glue is a lifesaver, you guys. If you are wearing a leotard and it rides up your butt a lot, so just pulling it down, pulling it down because picking your wedgie is a deduction. If you keep having to like fix your leotard and fix your leotard and fix your leotard, butt glue is the product for you. All you have to do is stick it where you want your leotard to go and then your leotard won't ride up your butt. It's perfect. Tip number five, always make sure to bring water and a snack. During a meet, you're gonna get hungry, especially after the meet. After competing, I was ravenous. I was so hungry. I was like, I could eat a horse right now. Like I was, I was starving. So bring your water and a snack. Tip number six. This is a worst case scenario, but you always wanna be prepared. Bring an extra leotard. If you have an extra long sleeve, that's even better, but even an extra plain leotard, always bring it in your bag just in case something happens to your competition leotard. Yes, this is worst case scenario. This most likely won't happen, but just to be safe, always bring an extra leotard. Tip number seven, cheer for your teammates. You're focused on yourself, but you're gonna want to cheer for your other teammates as well because they're kind of going through the same feelings as you are. So make sure to be friendly, be kind, and always be a good competitor. Be nice, do not be a sore loser. That is the worst type of person. Lastly, tip number eight, trust yourself. Trust your training, trust the process. Make sure that you're listening to your coaches. Make sure that you're focused. 80% of the meat is trusting yourself and trusting that your body knows exactly what to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Follow all my socials linked down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.